So, YouTube deleted my last account because there was fishy activity on it, and um, a bot had hacked it, or something stupid happened. So, YouTube locked me out of it, and then deleted all my videos, and said my account was, like, terminated or something. So, thanks YouTube, thanks hacker, or whatever happened, so now I have to start over. I didn't save any of the videos on my computer, so I have to make them over again. So this video is going to be about coming out, um, if you couldn't tell by the title. I'm going to try to make it, you know, semi-enjoyable. It probably is going to be really crappy because I'm not good at making videos. Chip number one. I don't know if you can see it. You will get through it. There's no really easy way to go about doing it. It's different for everybody. Everyone has different experiences. Some people have a really easy time. Some people have a really hard time. Some people deal with it earlier in their life. And some people, you know, deal with it in college or in their adult life. And some people deal with it in middle school. It's important that you don't ever blame yourself if someone doesn't accept you. Um, I know a lot of people say, you know, I'm a disappointment to my family, you know, my friends don't approve of it, they don't like me anymore, like my, at church, the people who go to my church aren't going to approve of it. If someone doesn't accept who you are, you know, it's on them. Yes, I am aware that that was oddly sappy, and I'm kind of ashamed of how sappy that was. This is tip number two. We're doing so well. So you may have forgotten, but girls exist, because you don't really look at them or look for them. But suddenly, when they find out that you're gay, they're going to come out of nowhere, and they're going to, you know, want your dick in their mouth. I'm pretty sure every gay guy has to deal with this, you know, when they come out, or when they already are out. The females, the girls, they just... They just want to, you know, take you shopping with them, and they say, thank God, I can, you know, I have a gay best friend now, and you're just like, I didn't, I didn't know we were best friends, and they're like, oh, now we can go to the mall, and we can, like, shop together, and you're just like, yeah, because I love doing that, and they want to, they're like, you know, maybe we can experiment, and, like, try things out on each other, and we can have sex, and it won't be awkward for either of us, and you're like, it's going to be awkward, because I'm not going to be able to have sex with you. Tip, no, that is tip number two on the other side. There is tip number three, and that is the one that we're on. Yeah. Yeah. The world doesn't end. Um, some people think that the day they come out, you know, things are going to blow up and tornadoes are going to destroy the world. But that, it doesn't happen, I don't think. Pretty sure it doesn't happen. Tip 3.5, because that one wasn't really a tip, and I feel like I'm jipping everybody. Gay hookup sites are really creepy. Tip number 4, which is going to be sappy. It's important that you recognize that you're never alone with being gay or coming out. Oftentimes you feel that way in high school if um, there's only a few kids in your grade or your school who are out. Some of you say that um, you're the only one in your school that you know that's out. And... When you're going through high school, it's important that you can relate to other people and you don't have that relatability because other people aren't, you know, coming to you or talking to you about it. But you do need to realize that everyone's going through coming out at different stages and different paces and there are other kids in your school. I promise you're not alone. And um, there's people, the community is actually, you know, very large. You know, when you're finally out, you recognize it. And when you finally put yourself out there, you say, wow, there's a lot of people like me, but when you're going through coming out in high school or even middle school, you feel very alone, but you have to realize that you're not. So yeah, I'm kind of out of tips for you guys, but if you like me, you like this video, you want to be nice, you should subscribe to me. Um, I'm going to be making new videos every so often. If you did watch my last channel, I wasn't lying. I do want to make videos. I do want to you know, help you guys out because you're supportive in return. And if you do have any questions or you want, you know, a, me to talk about something in the next video, you can always message it to me. You can write it in the comments below. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. I have my Twitter, you know, my Tumblr link below, Facebook. If you want to follow me or talk to me there, that's fine too. I wish you guys the best of luck with everything. Just know you're not alone. And thanks for watching.